Hi guys, welcome back to another video and welcome to my channel if you are new. Hi, my name is Femke and in today's video it is time for me to share a new nail polish of the week video. In this nail polish series that I started like two, maybe two and a half years ago already, I'm not even sure. I'm just going to swatch and review, just talk about one specific nail polish color that I have in my collection. But first of all, you always want to start off with a base coat and I'm using one by Holotaco, which is pretty much one of my favorites at the moment. But if you are new to my channel and you like my content, my videos and so on, please subscribe and help me reach my yearly goal. And of course, don't forget to hit that notification bell if you want to be noted every time I upload a new video, which is always at least three times a week. But yeah, you just want to start off, of course, with clean nails and just apply your base coat. It doesn't really matter what kind of base coat you want to use. It's pretty much like a personal preference thing so yeah don't pinpoint me on the products that i use it just works really well for me but of course everyone's nails are a little bit different they might be built up differently and yeah some products might work wonders for me but not for you and that is just the reality we have to deal with <laughs> But yeah, of course, just apply your base coat and remember to cap off the edges if you have longer natural nails like I do. This actually prevents chipping and just, you know, wear and stuff like that. And it just makes sure that your manicure lasts beautifully for a longer period of time. But yeah, for this particular nail polish of the week that I wanted to talk and use in this specific video, I just chose one by China Glaze because I do have quite some polishes by China Glaze, but I feel like I don't really share them that much. And this one is actually one from the Active Color Collection, which is kind of like a sub collection in the whole China Glaze like assortment. Um, and I think I got this polish like two years ago, maybe, maybe one and a half years ago. I really can't remember exactly. I I do know that these were a little bit more expensive than the regular like polishes in their collection which are around six dollars or six euros i have to say i always get them at like a local dutch uh, web store so i pay in euros and of course i'm dutch hi <laughs> um, but i do know that china glaze is way less expensive in the states so yeah i really want to go back to the states once again and just walk into a sally's beauty supply or something and just grab all the china glaze polishes that they possibly have because I'm pretty much a big China Glaze fan. They are a little bit more expensive, especially if I compare them to Essence or Catrice nail polishes, but I really like the formula that they have. Um, so yeah, this polish retreat yourself actually has some extra ingredients, which are supposed to be good for your nails. To be honest, I don't really notice anything different to my nails whenever I use one of those polishes from the Active Color Collection. But I really love this color. It's just a really nice, like, lavendery, light purple kind of tone. And I just really love my purples and my pinks. And just soft tones like these always look really nice on my skin tone, or at least in my opinion. But I do think that if you have a really dark, beautiful complexion, that a color like this will really pop. So yeah, don't be scared to actually try out and just work with some different colors that you might think that maybe not suit you but just try it out and of course it's just nail polish so if you don't like it at the end of the day you can just remove it with a little bit of nail polish remover so yeah i pretty much like this color i think it's very spring like summer like and at the moment now i'm recording this voiceover there actually is a heat wave going on right here now i'm recording this it's like um almost 11 at night and it is still 30 degrees celsius here in my home and i'm in the cool room at the moment so yeah it's it's pretty hot here and i'm trying to survive but i'm not made for temperatures like this <laughs> But back to the polish, because I'm already going to apply the second coat. The first coat was opaque for, I'd say, like 60% or something. I always try to apply thin coats when it comes to China Glaze polishes, because I do feel like that if you apply really thick layers, they have the tendency to kind of like crackle up and just chip off really easily. So that is something that I really want to put out there, or at least that is something that happens to me whenever I apply thicker layers. And also, you don't want 
to overwork these colors because um, the brush might pick up a little bit of that pigment every time you stroke over the nail. You could just see that like a little bit ago when I applied the second layer to my thumb, which was still quite short um, when I recorded this video. I have to say that I think I recorded this like two and a half months ago already, maybe even longer ago. I still had like my really long nails, like my four other fingernails that you see right here. They are almost back to this original length because I had to shorten them down because I broke both of my thumbnails, which was pretty sucky. And I had some tears in my right hand nail, so I just felt like I have to shorten them all and start over fresh again, like healthy, strong you know the deal. So yeah, my nails are almost back to the length that they were in this video, or at least for the four longer nails you see here. And I'm so happy about it that they are actually growing pretty quickly at the moment. I'm not even doing anything special. <laughs> I'm even using less oils like cuticle oils and hand creams because I simply don't have enough time to have like my daily routine when it comes to stuff like that at the moment, because my work is just crazy and I can't wait to start my three weeks off at the beginning of September. I, I really need my time off. Like, I'm hungry for my holidays. <laughs> We're not really planning anything or something because of COVID, of course. Um, but I just can't wait to just sleep in and not have like 40 to 60 our work weeks and just relax a bit you know but yeah this was already the second code i just love talking like in these videos so much just talk about life and just random stuff and just talk about stuff that keeps me busy like during the week and stuff like that do let me know in the comments down below if there's every anything like weighing heavy on your heart that you would love to share with me or the other viewers and of course do make sure to let me know what color of polish you are wearing at the moment because i'm always really curious to hear about that too and if you're doing your nails together with me while watching this video of course make sure that every single coat of polish is completely dry before you go in with the next and yeah i'm just going to add my top coat right here and i just wanted to show you my little resin plate right here because it matched so well with the nail polish and yeah, I'm just a little bit crazy for purple tones at the moment. So I felt like, let's just show you my little resin plate that I love to use just as a little stand to put my jewelry on. I even use it for nail art as well to just dunk some colors on and just use a dotting tool with those. It's so versatile and it's a really pretty one. I got this one from AliExpress like half a year, maybe even a year ago already. Time flies by so fast. It is insane. In like less than two months, I will be turning 30, like 3-0, the big 3-0. And I definitely don't feel like I am 30 yet. I don't even feel like I'm 29. I feel like I'm 20 or something. <laughs> like mentally, I have to say. But yeah, like time goes by so fast. But this resin plate, I think I got it for like 250 in euros or something. It was really inexpensive and it's just really pretty to have laying around really handy really versatile so if you would like to have like the direct link or something to this um, resin plate let me know in the comments down below and i will try to look it up for you sometimes it's not like possible to get the exact item anymore because they tend to like switch up their assortment and stuff at aliexpress but yeah let me know in the comments down below if you would like to um have that direct link so i will definitely look it up for you but yeah this was already the entire nail polish of the week video let me know what you think about this color i'm pretty much obsessed it's just such a cute color that i think that will suit a lot of different skin tones and yeah i really like it it's really pretty i've worn it for i think it was eight days or something like that and it's just a really cute color and yeah i just can't stop rambling today <laughs> but thank you guys so so much for watching i really hope you liked it i love you so so much and i hope to see you in one of my next videos